Amir Khan and Atul Kulkarni, who acted together in the 2006 release Rang the Basanti, have reunited for Lal Singh Chadda. The Hindi adaptation of the Hollywood classic Forrest Gump marks the latter's debut as a writer in the former's return to the big screen after nearly four years. Speaking exclusively to India Today.in, Atul Kulkarni said that he enjoyed the challenge of working on Lal Singh Chadda because he shares a strong rapport with Mr. Perfectionist. Amir Khan and Atul Kulkarni are coming together for Lal Singh Chadda nearly 16 years after Rang the Basanti. In these 16 years, Amir and Atul's bond has only strengthened. And Atul thinks it is this bond that has helped him pen the Forest Gump adaptation. Atul starts off, in our field, we are like nomads as we work on a project and then move on. With Amir, however, I have a relationship that has remained strong. Our bond helped us while working on Lal Singh Chatta as I could relate to him on a personal level. Such a rapport came in handy as filmmaking is an abstract process. Lal Singh Chadda, directed by Advat Chandan, is a comedy drama that revolves around a dim-witted simpleton who has a unique take on important events from India's past. The film stars Karina Kapoor Khan as the leading lady and marks her third collaboration with Amir Khan after Three Idiots 2009 and Talash 2012. Lal Singh Chadda also features Mona Singh, Naga Chaitanya in his Bollywood debut and Manav Vij in key roles. Lal Singh Chadda was to hit the screens in 2020 but that did not happen due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It is finally slated to open in theatres on August 11 alongside the Akshay Kumar star Raksha Bandhan. For Amir Khan, it will be his first release after the 2018 action-adventure Thugs of Hindustan, which bombed at the box office. He is said to be in talks to star in the Hindi remake of the Spanish-language film champions Atul Kulkarni, on the other hand, was recently seen in Yami Gotham's A Thursday and the Ajay Devgan-led web series Rudra. He also acted in the Kannada movie Manismita, which hit the screens on June 3.